And it's weird for me to have a quarterback in here, but Kyler Murray, who I absolutely love. I have an unhealthy man crush on this guy. Why is that? Well, he rushed for over 1,000 yards and 12 touchdowns last season. If you look at the five quarterbacks since 1999 who have finished in the top 10 fantasy points as rookies, they've all either rushed for 500-plus yards or five touchdowns. I think Murray could do both in 2019. At number four, Miles Sanders, and I get it. The Eagles' backfield is crowded. Jordan Howard is there. Darren Sproles is there. Corey Clements there. But Sanders has more upside than any of those backs. And the Eagles, well, they fielded a top 10 run-blocking offensive line in 2018. That's going to help the rookie, no doubt about it. Number three. Number three, Daryl Henderson. Huh. And I think he could have standalone value even behind Todd Gurley because he could be utilized as a pass catcher, maybe help you in PPR leagues. And in a worst-case scenario where Todd Gurley goes down because that knee is a problem, Henderson immediately becomes an RB1. Not an RB2, but an RB1, Lindsay. So a number two running back over Kyler Murray. You like his fantasy well, value even more than that. Running backs are going to go way higher than quarterbacks. Typically, we all know that quarterbacks are going to go late because of supply and demand. Henderson's going in the sixth or seventh round right now. That's really? how high people in the fantasy community are okay. on this kid. See, i got to wrap my brain around it. I'm not there yet. It's a good thing you're here. Michael Fabiano, who's your number two? Yeah, David Montgomery there in Chicago. This is one of the most elusive running backs to come out of college in a long, long time. And remember, Jordan Howard, now in Philadelphia, leaves behind 270 touches. I think most of those will go to David Montgomery. He's going to be the early down back and maybe the goal line back for Chicago. And in number one, this one's easy. I think you could predict this uh, one. I would it's have. Simple. I would have. Yeah, Josh Jacobs. Because... I'm he is the projected number one back for the Oakland Raiders for John Gruden, a guy who averaged over six yards of carry during his time in Alabama, and he's also a good pass catcher. And what's king in fantasy football? Volume. And Jacobs is going to see a heck of a lot of volume in that Oakland offense. That's what we